what is your stance on corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup and sugar? What's your stance on it? Do you have a preference? Of course, I, I, I guess we would should all prefer sugar over high fructose corn syrup, but I was reading about it and it seems like there's not that big of a difference between which one is healthier for you. Is that true? Mm. Turn the line six off. What does that mean? Am I? Oh, NATO green. Yeah, that's so crazy. NATO? Wait, that's is that the real NATO green or is that some sort of Franz in here? Hold, oh, I don't know what to do here. I, this is weird, actually. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting a call. That's not the real NATO green, is it? I can't believe that that's the real NATO green. It can't be. But it is, maybe. <laughs> I'm yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm just I'm this is a little pre-show thing. We're just waiting for uh you know people to show up, people such as Laura and uh, Chicken Jessica, our producer. I wonder if I should have answered that call. You know, I wonder if it could have been Laura or Chicken Jessica calling me. You know, um. Anyway, uh, I mean, does does my my audio doesn't sound weird or anything, right? Okay, let's get back to um. Let me see this here. San, San Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Something Santa Maria. I, I don't know. I was just trying to understand what that Japanese was. Okay, so let's get back into this. Um, okay, so um, what am I th talking about even in my mind? High fructose corn syrup. I was reading and it seemed as though, uh, you know, it wasn't much, there wasn't, a big difference health wise between sugar and high fructose corn syrup, but it did seem like just regular corn syrup was maybe a healthier option than high fructose corn syrup. So I don't know. I don't want to, I just don't want to subject my body to these things, but sometimes I need to. All right. Um, sometimes I need to do that. I need to, uh, yeah, fructose, any O's is a sugar, by the way. I mean, you got any different kind of, um, any O's is a sugar, glucose, fructose, sucrose, sucralose, pantyhose, um, uh, Dose, you know, you know, Dose, Mike Watt and um, and his wife, I think, are in Dose. Lactose, of course, lactose, lactose, lictose, comatose, Glencose, close, Glen Close, of course, of course, of course, Glen Close, of course. Um, so if you look at people who say they're lactose intolerant, if you look at um, the bat, the nutrition facts for cheese, people who are lactose intolerant, they'll say, oh, no cheese. I can't have cheese. Well, look at the back of the cheese. You know, look at the sweaty back of the cheese. You ready, Laura? Laura, are you ready? No, maybe not. Um... Oh, you, you can't hear me? Can you hear me? No, all right, I don't know. 
Um, I'll just wait for your thumb up and then I'll put you in. No, she's out. Um, so, okay, if you look at the back of the cheese, you'll see that the amount of sugars that are in a serving of cheese is very low. I mean, it's usually one gram or less, sometimes zero grams of sugar, which means that um, that sugars, that the sugars they're referring to is the lactose. That means there's no, there's no lactose, there's hardly any lactose in there. And so, Laura, are you ready? No. Um, and so you can eat the cheese is what I'm saying. If you're lactose intolerant, unless you are very diabetic, um, you should be able to, uh, huh? Laura says she can't hear me, but you can all hear me, right? Yeah, of course you're referring to me. Um, the, uh, you, um, yeah, you can eat the cheese is what I'm saying. Now, now probably some cheeses have more lactose than others, but Swiss cheese, if you want some Swiss cheese on your sandwich or on a cracker, you're good to go. There's there's almost no there's almost no lactose in there. You're, you're going to be fine. So don't worry about it. Now, if we're talking about maybe some sort of burrata, maybe has some more lactose. Yeah, Laura. Oh, you want in? Can you hear me, Laura? No, I don't know. Um. Yeah, see, an, a chet, an aged cheddar, I think. It depends on the cheese. The creamier cheeses probably have some sort of... Um, wait, Laura, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of looking at Laura in the sort of in the behind the scenes, and I don't know if... Uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe Laura call... I don't know. She can't even hear me. I'm going to write her real quick here. Hold on a second. I'm just writing her right now to tell her to call Chicken Jessica, you know, because she's having some technical difficulties, it seems like. Um, all right, back to cheese. Uh, yeah, I think the creamier cheeses are going to probably have more lactose in them. But, you know, those other cheese, those hard cheeses, you're good to go. You're good to go. Um, I don't know. Should I bring... Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mention the, okay. We got this ultra 1000 right here looking real, you know, real wet with a real sweaty, cheesy back right here. Um, 19, 19 months old there. That's good. Just hit that 19, uh, that landmark line. Oh, we got another, another breakthrough here. 22 months. I mean, gosh, these people, once you, once these people hit 24, I mean, and the closest one is going to be Bryce shell. Once you hit 24, I mean, that's when you go full on Gunya. Um, chicken, Jessica, I, do you know what's going on? Has Laura tried to reach out to you at all or? I don't know what's going on. I think they're talking on the phone. They're trying to figure something out. I, I have a whole view of a behind the scenes kind of thing here, which is pretty neat. You know, I wish I could share it with you, but I could describe it if you want. There's cheese everywhere. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, back to the oses. So there's all these different these sugars and well, supposedly glucose, which is in Corn syrup is easier to process. It's easier for your body to process, um, you know, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. It's easier to process than, than um, uh, what's it called? Um, fructose. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, so, and what I'm getting at is this. I ate a cookie today. I did. And the cookie had high fructose corn syrup in it. And I just don't 
I don't feel good about that. I'll be honest. I try to avoid high fructose corn syrup. I feel like high fructose corn syrup or any corn syrup really gives me stomach aches. I don't have a stomach ache yet, but that cookie, I have to admit, though, was very good. It was good. It was chewy. It had these caramel kind of these sort of puddles of caramel. It was a turtle. The co the cookie was a some sort of turtle and it was a um, it was a turtle infused cookie of sorts. Okay, and it was uh, there was there was some pecan in there. It was uh, and uh, these caramel puddles, and the cookie was chewy and it was brownie like, and I have to say I liked it. I mean I'm sorry, but uh, no offense to anybody here, but I did like it. And the thing had corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, in it, and I just feel like uh, I don't know if that was really something I should have done to myself. And guess what? I'm going to eat four more of these things. I don't even want to tell you where I got the dang cookie, okay? I'm not even trying to say where I got the dang cookie. Yeah, well, I'll tell you why they call it a turtle, Cammy. Because <clears throat> it has a shell, scales, and, you know, it's, uh, and it fights crime. Jeff Perry said, you're toast. You mean, I'm toast, T-O-S-E. You know, are you ready, Laura? Oh, you are. Okay, here she, here she comes. Here comes Laura, the legendary Laura. Here you are. <laughs> you couldn't hear me this whole time, huh? No, there was just something up. I don't know what, but it seems fine now. I think I, I just unplugged and replugged back in. It was a weird connection. Um, well, I was talking about high fructose corn syrup. And corn syrup. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to eat it, but I did eat some today because it was in this cookie that I like. Oh, yeah. What cookie was that? It's this chewy, chocolatey, this chewy chocolate cookie with caramel kind of puddles in it with pe pecan. It was a turtle. Oh, it was a turtle cookie. of sorts? It was a turtle cookie. Yeah. Uh huh. And it was where was it prepackaged or was it sort of a fresh baked turtle? It was mm -hmm. a fresh baked turtle. Really? It was a fresh baked turtle. I mean, it was in a, it was fresh baked. Like from a place of sorts? From a place of sorts. What was that? Subway? <laughs> no. Am I really loud? Uh oh. No, I don't. You sound normal to me. I oh, think. Okay. I don't even know actually. You know, I I don't know if this is the real NATO Green, but NATO Green is in here. Oh my God! What the hell are you doing here, NATO? I don't know. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. If it's Welcome. the real you, I mean, I don't know. Why would it not be the real NATO? I don't know. There's all kinds of people, you know, masquerading. Impersonating around. to masquerading there's imper around. Yeah, there's lots of masqueraders around here. There's a bit know. of a masquerade. Of it sorts. is. This our show is a bit of a masquerade. People come. It is in disguise. I mean, look at they this. come in full what, garb. What is this? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's something. You know, that is some sort of garb of sorts. It is a garb. That's and garb. even like click on Look, Gemma Leslie's, for or, example. Or this is garb, and then no, I mean, well, this, I mean, well, I, I mean, guess just like the Gemma's child. dress is a child of sorts. Well, yeah, know? that's a garb of sorts. <laughs> and then we've got, and then you it's know, all garb. It's Price all garb, shell. you know. Price yeah. of shell is a garb. The the world according to garb. Like um, chicken garb. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Laura, yeah, I wanted to ask you a controversial sort of somewhat of a controversial question here and then we'll start the show okay do you feel that pepperidge farms is going downhill uh, no they see to me they seem to be the same as ever really yeah I don't okay. even think I've noticed them getting rid of any product that I was a fan of it seems to me they've been pretty consistent over the decades. I mean, well, maybe my, uh, I don't know, my um, standard has changed over the years, but I used to think of Pepperidge Farms as being highfalutin, upper echelon, upper echelon, yes, highfalutin, right? You know, a sort of gourmet cookie of sorts, right, right? Right. I thought of it as this elevated cookie and just a biscuit that was something 
of affluence. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There is an affluence to it, I think. But and I think I, that they've I sort of lowered that, themselves to sort of appeal to the masses. They kind of degraded. Well, I mean, it's with certain product. Well, look, I got, I got a, I got some Pepperidge Farms cookie. I succumbed to it. I don't know but why. What flavors? What I, flavors? I was in the store. I'll tell you. In the store, I was in the store, and I thought to myself, "What if I should just sort of shake things up a little bit, you know, and get some Pepperidge Farms cookies?" I've done it. You know, I know mm. Laura does stuff like this. You know, maybe I should. Sort uh, not of... anymore. I told people about my little secret. Oh, really? <laughs> not a secret about the pre-diabetes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I actually didn't tell the coop, but I told people yesterday on my other show. Oh, you it's did. Okay. I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh huh. Um, well, anyway, yeah. I said I'll get this these Pepperidge Farms, see what happens, you know. And I got them, and the cookies were first of all a lot smaller than I remembered them being. Um, well, they do have of, mini ones. I don't know, but they were just small, and then they just seemed kind of sloppily put together. It didn't seem uh, elegant the, the mm. way I remembered it, and it just seemed kind of just. I don't know, lackluster. I don't just something about it. Just and what did I get? What what kind of cookie Let me did guess. I get? Milano's. What? Those are the sandwich ones, right? They are the round ovular so mm -hmm. ovular, yeah, yeah. That come in various well, first of all, flavors, such as milk, right. chocolate, dark chocolate, double dark, and orange. And Choc raspberry. Orange dark. And oh, raspberry, rasp which is what yeah. I got actually. Oh, that's never been my taste. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I, you know me and raspberries. I love raspberries, you know. You know, but I just feel that like as a flavor in a cookie, it doesn't really sort of Well, I thought mesh that it would Yeah, I thought that well. maybe I should have gone with mint. Do you like the mint ones? I don't I that was something for me in my past years that I think I would have mm -hmm. endeavored towards, but I think now it's all about the dark the dark chocolate one. Not even double dark, just regular dark. Uh-huh. That's a little bit more highfalutin because it's a little bit more <laughs> refined in the sense right. that well, it's not dark. doing too much with the chocolate. Well, yeah, it's dark, it's of dark. course. We like I the mean, dark, but we like you know, dark elevates. But you don't want too much. You want a refined, subtle amount of it. You know what I mean? If it's mm -hmm. double, it's just doing too much. And I made the mistake of getting double myself a couple months ago, and I thought I was wrong to do that. Uh, by the way, I've asked this question before, but Chef Jess, Jeff, your last name isn't Lustrayer, is it? You can answer that at your own pace. Um, Laura, I got this raspberry thing, and not only were they not so ovular, but they almost looked like almost the shape of a peanut or something like that, you know? Peanut or penis? <laughs> peanut. Oh, peanut. <laughs> peanut. Um, yeah, I hear that. Well, anyway, I, I just don't think I'll be getting, oh, uh, no offense to Pepperidge Farms. Hey, if you want to sponsor the show, by all means, we'd love it. But, but what about um, their like private selection one or those, you know, the box, the sort of the variety pack? That's kind of. I haven't be. even done. I don't do that. I've never done that. Wait, you're telling me you've never done like the Pepperidge Farm holiday collection? Oh, I don't know. I haven't done it recently, if anything. I mean, I don't really know, actually. They're they're not quite on par with the Trader Joe's Belgian cookie collection that is seasonally available during Christmas and 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 Thanksgiving times, which to me are the best sort of shalon of cookies that you can get in the sort of mainstream arena at this time. Mm, okay, but you can get great cookies in specialty stores. But yeah, as far as like you know, in the mainstream arena. Pepperidge Farm is an all right, you know, option. But yeah, you should try the Brussels, actually. Oh. You know okay. about Brussels? I'll look into Brussels, yeah. They're like these round ones that are oh, kind yeah. of like Milano. They're like a sandwich of sorts, but uh -huh. uh, they're, they're kind of fun. There's something different. I think they're better than Tate's myself. I mean, I would choose a Pepperidge Farm over a Tate these days. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you think of Tate's? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. Never Tate? Mind. Tate's. I never Tate's heard baked of her. shop cookie. They're like these special. They're kind of a. Never heard of Become her. a bit of a phenomenon over the last five years, I'd say. I've never they heard come of in her. a green bag, chocolate never, chip. Never will. Uh, anyway. Okay, let's start <clears throat> this show. I guess you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know, thanks to uh, thanks to Trout last week, we now have over a hundred members here. In Trout our Trout making it right our, in our midst, you know, hundred uh, over one hundred and ten actually. So, wow. I mean, there's people who are members who never thought they would be members. Ever. Maybe Nato so Green was one of them. Yeah. He's one of them. Yeah. Nato Green. Yeah. Um, and um, 
you know, apologies to uh, those of you who are regular watchers but didn't get in on the the big gift fest, you know, that happened last week. But, um, you know, I don't know. You just had to be been there at the right time, I guess, or something like that, you know. But, uh, all right, well, let's go ahead and start the show. Yeah. Welcome to the Chicken Coop. My name is Brent Weinbach. My name is Laura Weinbach. This is the um, live chat show where we do live chat and we talk to the audience that wants to wants us to talk to them and uh we also we just uh you know we have different topics each week and you know before we get going on today's topic i just wanted to mention that we're going to we'll be doing a live in person event for the 100th episode which is the next episode this is episode 99 that we're on right now can't believe a hundred episodes. How's that? How does that even happen? You know, isn't that crazy? That's crazy. I just don't, uh, I can't believe that we have been doing the show for almost two years. Almost a hundred times. Yeah. It just seems like that's a lot of episodes, but um, yeah. So uh, we'll be doing it in person for the hundredth episode, which it won't be next week, but it will be the week after on March 4th. Monday, mm -hmm. March 4th at 8 p.m. Okay, in Santa Monica. That means that it'll be 8 p.m. Pacific time. And so you can still tune in. We'll still be live streaming it and you'll still be able to comment and do all that stuff. But if you're in the Los Angeles area, go check out The Crow in Santa Monica. You can get tickets there. Okay. And, um, you know, that that's where, where it will be. So you, hopefully you'll be out there. If anybody's in Los, the Los Angeles area, you know, let's, uh, we want to try to get at least 30 people there in person. Okay. Is that possible? Can we do that? 33 would be ideal. Well, th I mean, one yeah, third. Sure. yeah, it's even less than one third people. We can do this. But I mean, look, I know a lot of these people are in other places such as Minneapolis and Australia, Australia, Nada, as in Cane, <laughs> and and Nova Scotia and places Scotia and Baltimore, and uh, Baltimore. anyway, um, but and uh, I don't know, Appleton, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, is come check us out live, you know. And then if not, and then, and by the way, for members only, well, we will be doing next week, but members only. Okay. So, you know, wear your jackets. Wear your garb. We'll start, I think we'll start at 7 p.m. Pacific time next, next week. So Laura, is this the real, do you oh. think this is the real, is this real or do you think it's what, you know? Could be. I can't tell, you know, I just, I would find it surprising, but hey, you know, um, I, I, I don't know. Really, would Franzen have know the reference 415? That's I what know. I, that's what I'm wondering. I think you know? NATO, that could be you. Yeah, it could be you. It could be NATO, you. NATO, what did we do last all together? Answer oh, that's that a good, question. That's a good question. Answer that. If that's yeah. you, NATO. If that's really him. When was the last time all, you saw what did we all? us together yeah what did we all do what do we do baby yeah. without look ain't <laughs> ashbury that's not right is that true <laughs> i don't think that's right that sounds like some kind of stock footage <laughs> that seems like a stock footage answer right there yeah okay so today's topic um well of course you know what is today president's day it's president's day it's president's night at this point it's president's night you know Right. So it's President's Night. It's the night. It's when the presidents like to get freaky. It's the night know. of the dance. It's President's Day after dark. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so um, because of President's Day, we are going to, or President's Night, celebration of President's Night, we are going to do this episode about presidents. Does that sound good? So this ep this uh, episode uh, or this uh, whatever this topic we're calling it um, 
what are we calling it? Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, I think we're calling it presidential. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get okay. a second look at I that. I need to take a look at that real quick. What's going Let's on? Let's just here? do a double take on that. Because, okay, I see what's going on in the back there, you know? Well, I don't quite see what's going I mean, I see who it is, but I'm not quite sure what he's doing. He's eating food, McDonald's. What does he I, eat? Is he kissing something? It looks I like he's, he's eating kissing food. a cigar or something. I think he's eating some sort of food, but what I'm trying to, well, what I'm really trying to here, understand is I'm trying to understand. The Jesse the, from the Breaking print. Bad? Who, what do you mean Jesse from Breaking Bad? Is that Jesse from Breaking Bad on the right? No, no. Aaron's I don't know why you would think that. Is it Aaron Paulson or whatever? The... No. It looks Aaron like Paul, him with no. that face. On the right? No. Yeah. I'm trying to think the about... The middle looks like kind of like a little bit like... I, I mean, Chet I'm Pink. trying to understand which president that is. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> but it must be a young version of a president that we know. Is that a young Biden, perhaps? Oh, oh, someone just said it. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, no, I, I was I was looking at the face, and then so, and I was thinking, is that possibly young? Can I see that young Biden again? Wow, I didn't know President Biden was in Breaking Bad. I didn't know President Biden was ever young. Well, I didn't know he was Aaron Paul. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't you see that? You know, Jack Nicholson is twenty three, I think, in that, or twenty two in that movie. What movie? Wait, in one. Wait, in what? In that movie, the, you know, the Little Shop of Horrors. Wait, Jack Nicholson. Did you not see Jack Nicholson in that thing just now? Oh wait, that was Jack Nicholson in the middle. Oh, into the into the dentist chair. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I did not even realize that. Holy yeah, crap. he's twenty. You don't think that looks like Jack Nicholson? No, I mean I see it now, but I, to be honest, I've watched Little Shop of Horrors. You know, the original. At various. Oh, maybe I didn't see that. The one from 1960. Oh, I didn't see that. I saw the one with Rick Moranis and Steve. Well, and, and you know Paris. that the that no. the Rick Moranis one Martin. is based on the musical, or I mean, that is a, a film adaptation of the musical, which is based on the 1960 Roger Corman movie. Well, I figured the original. I mean, I figured it was a musical at all times. No, it wasn't a musical in 1960. Oh, it was not. Okay. No, they made a musical version oh. of this kind of, you know, Roger Corman uh, kind of, I don't want to say B movie, but it was something in that vein, you know? Hmm. Okay. I didn't, I never knew that, never seen it, but I did play the dentist as in the seventh grade production of Little Shop of Horrors at my junior high school. There you go. This is Crabtree's class. So you modeled yourself after Steve Martin and not, yeah. young, and not young Biden? Not, not young Biden, no. Um, that's a hey, good find, Chicken Jessica, on that young wow. Biden spot, though, because yeah, I, wow. I wasn't expecting that. And I was looking at the face and I was thinking, that's somebody young. And I mm -hmm. thought, well, it probably makes sense that it's young Biden, you know, but that's interesting right. that he looked like a youthful guy at one point, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, no offense to Mr. To President. No, no offense to Mr. President. You know, I'm not trying to. You know, by the way, Tisha Campbell is in the, um, you know, 1984 uh, Little Shop of Horrors, along with the other who, person from to, Living from Tisha Arnold, right? Who is also in Martin? Who's also in Martin? Right. And I think they are also. Is she also in Kid and Play? <laughs> I mean, Tisha Campbell. No, oh, I know Tisha Campbell is, but is the other one also? It's not called Kid and Play, by the way. It's called oh, wait, House, I mean, House, House Party. Party, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know that movie Kid and Play? <laughs> I knew I wasn't saying it right. I just couldn't remember what the movie was called, so I figured it was called Kid and Play. <laughs> but is the other one in that too? Not Tisha oh, Campbell? I don't know. I'm it? not sure. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, or is she in Poetic Justice? I think she is. Yeah. The, not not Tisha Campbell, the other the friend who's in Martin, who I believe that she is also in Poetic Justice. Who is? Keisha? Not Tisha, the other one. <laughs> oh, what's her Takesha? name? Tisha. What's her name? The other Takesha? one who's in Martin. Takisha. Oh, is that her name? Well, I don't know. Is it Takisha Arnold or is it 
Is it uh what's what's her name? Pam something. To, no, pa- wait, Tichina, no. Tachina Arnold. I forgot. Tachina really Arnold. It's Tachina Arnold. That's what it is. Wait, is it Takesha? No, it's Tachina. Tachina? Tiki yeah, something like that. Sorry. No offense to Ch- Tachina. <laughs> no offense to Tachina. <laughs> um, so uh okay. Um, so anyway, I guess we're going to, what we're going to do is this, uh, first of all, Laura, do you have any favorite presidents? I mean, you know, things seem to, well, apart from the intense recession, (laughs) things seem to be of a more festive nature during the Obama years, but you know, Bill Clinton was fun. (laughs) If we're just talking about presidents during my lifetime, well, he played the saxophone uh he uh he he played he playing the you know he played the saxophone you know he was you know eat, you know eating eating food and stuff like that and maybe that's kind of fun you know Bill Clinton mm-hmm. well I, I also like him because of that game Slick Willie which I used to enjoy <laughs> Slick Willie yeah it was him. he's Slick basically Willie. the mouth he's a mouth like you, he's it's a, a mouse game he's a head and then you eat these hamburgers with his head. And you have and to I avoid like other sort of political figures such as Al Gore and... Um, and George you, W. Or no, just George Regular. Just George Regular Bush. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, you're avoiding these different heads. And uh, yeah, it was just a sort of a simple game that was on... I think that's pl- why he's my favorite. Played it on Macintosh. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I mean, look, if we're, what I mean, should we even go there about worst president and stuff? I want to say this. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. But you, you have any idea about who the worst president is? Was? I mean, people say Trump I mean, was not no, the worst, no, but no, I think he was probably the no, worst. No, but I mean, th- this person and asked probably. here. That, so you just don't even bother with Trump, okay? We're not even you're not even talking about that. No disrespect to Trump, you know. I don't know <laughs> Nixon. Or what? Like who do Nick, you think? Well, there was the guy who was impeached. You know, uh, was it Andrew Johnson or was that who it was? Lyndon like Johnson. That? No, 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 Andrew Johnson. Or, I think. Oh wait, oh I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they were no, they were all impeached. I mean, well, no, I guess uh, I guess Nixon was going to be impeached, but then he quit instead, I guess, or something like that. But. Um, mm-hmm. the uh, I, I don't know. I mean, look, I can't tell you who the worst president was because I wasn't around for most of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I wasn't around for well. most of them. <laughs> I know, I mean, I was around for some of them, you know, some of the more recent ones I've been around for, but um, there's a I bunch. mean, Trump definitely makes George W look like a bit of a sort of you know, pussy of you sorts in the there, best way. There was a there was a bunch <laughs> there was a bunch of presidents in the 1800s that I just didn't I never experienced, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. There sure were. And um wait, who did you say who's a pussy? What? <laughs> I said Trump kind of makes George W seem like a bit of a pussy, no offense. So pussies. Um <laughs> it's interesting <laughs> how I do it's think like it's like he seemed so bad at the time. Well, I mean, it's it interesting how the perception like that yeah. was sort of child's play. It's interesting the, how the perception of of George W. Bush has changed so much over the years because back in I just remember so much how much people just really didn't like George W. Bush. And now he's sort of pretty well liked by people now, you know, and, the, yeah. you know, they just don't people just really didn't like George George W. Bush. You think he's pretty well liked? Well, I don't know. Nowadays, about that. yeah, he is pretty really? well liked okay. now. Yeah, he's kind of thought of almost as lovable he's... now these days <laughs> well he's now thought of as just a kind of a just sort of a goofy guy a goofy kind of nice guy you know or something like that you know i don't know this is a funny thing right here <laughs> <laughs> he was the 10th president i think or the ninth he was the ninth president can you name all the presidents laura hell no no, but you can, can't you? Or can you? I can't, I know I can't our brother name, can. I can't na- our brothers can. I can't name all of them, but I can name the first 10 or so maybe, and I can name the last. I could probably, well, no. I was going to say I could probably name all of them starting with Theodore Roosevelt, you know, but, um, I mean, going to the modern ones, but I don't think I could actually now that I think about it. There's probably a couple in there that I might miss, but I can name most of the ones from the 1900s. Uh-huh. That's cool. I mean, how many? Okay, how many can you name? 
I don't know, but I don't even want to go there. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I don't know. Is that that? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. I I don't know how many I can name. Uh -huh. But uh, who was your favorite of the founding ones? I mean, look at Abe Lincoln's pretty good. I mean, he's not. <laughs> he wasn't a founder. founding. He's he wasn't not a founder, but he he's back. Founder. He's old. <laughs> I mean, shoot, you know, I you know, know, they were I was reading George. about that. They were saying that maybe he had Marfan syndrome. You know about that? No. Marfan syndrome. I think it's Marf Marfan syndrome. You know, it's when people are, they, they have a condition where their bodies are really tall and uh, stretched, sort you know, of stretched out. They were saying that maybe he had that. Maybe. I don't know. How many prime ministers can I name? I don't know. Tony Blair. Tony Blair, you got your Margaret you got Thatcher. Tony, you got Tony Blair, you know. You got, you got your Winston Churchill. You know, you got, you know. Um, you got your. You know, Henry David Thoreau. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you got, uh, you know, whatever, you know. You got all of them, you know. You know, you got. Yeah. Uh, what's his <laughs> name? Uh, d you know, you got. Uh, Trudeau. You know, you got a uh, Capote, you know, you got Capote, <laughs> you got Faulkner, you know, you got <laughs> Doll. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, um, so look, what's going on here? We're going to look at some commercials, I guess. I mean, um, who's my favorite? Who's your favorite losing presidential candidate? <laughs> Um, I forget them. I forget. I remember Dukakis. It's got to be Dukakis. Oh. <laughs> I mean, well, with a name like Dukakis, I mean, it's imagine be if a favorite, we did, you know? if our president's name was Dukakis, there would just be so many like jokes about that. I, I mean, know, there probably right? were at the time. All right, 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 right. You know, Dukakis. debates back then were so much more civil. I feel like, huh? Weren't they? See, I just I miss the eighties. You know. <laughs> You know, let's oh. make them, let's make America great again, huh? Mm -hmm. I do have a fondness for the Reagan era, I will admit. I, not I, not necessarily because of the politics. I just I'm fond of the the time is all, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Anyway, um let's let's take a look at what we have here. We have some commercials here that are all they're presidential commercials. They're cre presidents with the commercials with presidents in them. Yeah. What do we have? Um, um here is some kind of yeah, here's some weird noise. Oh yeah. Uh sounds like I'm, you're playing an Atari game or something. It sounds like you're playing some kind of pole position or something like that, you know? Is it like a noise? Like a Yeah, it sounds noise? like you're playing Enduro or, or some racing okay, game on me, Atari. Let me, let me come back. Let me come back. <laughs> Doesn't it didn't it sound like that? He's playing I yeah, know, it did. It sounded like some kind of a pole some position. Kind of racing game. Sounded like some pole position two or pole position one, even. I would go as far to say, you know, hmm. you know, pole position two. We actually had, you know, we had a, we had a, an Atari seventy eight hundred. What is that game? Like, it's a racing game. Uh, it's a racing game. Like. You know, you can pick wait. Was it like tracks. a motorcycle kind of game, or was it no? It was just car straight. Game? It was an F one racing game. Mm -hmm. Formula one racing, you know. And you know the one of the tracks was Fuji. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Stop playing yeah, Atari, I guess, huh? It's a noise problem I have. <laughs> um, comes from one thing. I don't, whatever. I figured. Did you ever have an Atari? No. Oh, okay. No. Before my time, slightly. Mm -hmm. It's not really though. But it's not really. I, mean, I would have been very young, like too young to I think play. No, you. I don't think so. Like three years old or something. I mean, well, no, no, I'm 70s. talking Atari 7800, though. Oh, no. Well, why I bother? I mean, NES came out before and it was so much Yeah, better. but it's under 50 bucks. 50 bucks. That's the reason. Now, isn't that nice? There's you know, a reason the fun nobody is, wanted that. The fun is back. Oh, yes, sir. It's the 2600. You know, it's all about on television, Amico. So, um, so this <laughs> first one is... Uh, it's all about... It's all about that Amico. It's all about that house being sold right now. That's right. Um, so this is a commercial... Featuring, um, I did remember seeing Double Dragon in a, for the 7800 in a print thing, and I wanted it. But anyways, this is a commercial featuring uh, Lincoln in Washington. Oh, we got two, we got two for the price of one It's a on double this? header. Oh, schnip. Okay. And, uh, well, I won't say much more. 
a grand president they sell. Say, yeah, say, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. That's oh hilarious. God. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so funny. That's Amazing. so funny. Amazing. That is so funny. Wow. Well, we knew okay. that she had a bit of a sort of stars and stripes thing going on in general. I just had no idea she was going to do this. Wait, she hold on. She would do it. She would do it. <laughs> Supernova having the That's supposed to be George Bush. That is hilarious. <laughs> it's also kind of funny because it, yeah, I guess it looks like George Washington, but it <laughs> also kind of looks like. Actually, I don't know. Maybe Revere. What, what is what is she dressed as? I, I, it looks well, almost not even. It Jefferson. looks more Colonial. French in a way. It's you know, right. It's Napoleon. not quite. Of, it it's looks not almost. Quite... It looks like a fusion between colon, well, you know, uh, American colonial and also French Rococo, you know. No, it, it has the French, French sort of it, the French, French military jacket look with the sort of curly hair of a George yeah, Washington. Yeah, it is sort of Baroque. Napoleon meets Washington or something right, like it's that. A, Napo <laughs> a Napolitan. It's Neapolitan. Yeah, it's George <laughs> Neapolitan, yeah. George Neapolitan. <laughs> Well, it's also like the brocade on the the gold brocade in the front is not it also, quite of the era. It also, I know, right? Work. That's why I'm, that's where the something rococo. Like, yeah, comes that rococo in. is definitely <laughs> making a statement here. That's where that rococo. It's like, <laughs> kind of got a baroque kind of look to it. Rococo. It's, it's a baroque co meets sort of George <laughs> Neapolitan, you know. By the way, yeah. by but the way, who is that person on the right side? Like, it almost looks the, like the George Barocco. On a, it's did they do some sort of. Oh, did screen. they do a double entendre? Is did that they both do some her, sort of Patty it... Duke effect here, where they've got two uh, Annas here, and she's dressed as Abraham? Reference team? Patty Duke for this commercial. When she talked to the director, she's like, "I want to do a Patty Duke effect where I'm doing two presidents." <laughs> and the director's like, "Uh huh, got it. Yep, got it. Patty Duke. Okay, we, I'll we I'll research. Let me let me research Patty that. Duke. Let me uh... Patty Duke. Let me reload my cameras. We can do that. <laughs> okay, do, Patty Duke. Got it. Let me get into that." By the way, did you know, real quick, sidetrack here, did you know that Patty Duke is Sean Astin's mom? I did kind of know that. I've like heard that tale before. Isn't that interesting? I didn't... It makes sense because they do look like each other, but I didn't know that until really recently, maybe a year ago. Right. I heard that and somewhere. Maybe you know who you. you. know who his dad is? Someone. I heard about it. I forgot who, though. Sean Astin, who was in the Adams family, who played Gomez in the Adams family. Heard that, yes. <laughs> but but it was it's a I little... I can see the resemblance. No, no, no. But I don't think it's his, he's his biological father. I think he raised him. That's why I couldn't really see the resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think... There was a personality. It's sort unclear of. who his biological dad is. Maybe I don't know. Really? Wow. It, maybe it could have yeah. even been somebody like a. It's called the Patty Duke effect, right there. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it's the Patty. Do you Duke think the effect. director was like, "All right, everybody, clear set. We're going to reload for the Patty Duke effect." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it almost looks like. The, I mean, I mean, it's funny that she employed the Patty Duke effect on this one. Here, Did right? she though, or is that like her cousin? Is, or something? Right, I know exactly. Okay. <laughs> I mean, are there two people here? I like the idea that that is both her. I mean, that's a but, really funny thing, you know. But it's her cousin, also wild and crazy, just like her. We'll find right, out. Right, we'll find out. How well? Way, okay, wait like a, a minute. Can we I'm just sorry, guess what's going like to happen? It does is look she like gonna there's... Oh, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. What? There's a penis say... on the left. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I see that. The blue penis. To me, it looks almost like a form, like a women's like clothing form or something like that. But um, no, I was thinking, could we should we guess what's going to happen in this commercial? Is she going to? Are they going to rip off their outfits as a one piece and reveal <laughs> sort of a a kind of? A you know, showgirls of, type of <laughs> right. a Napoleon, a Napoleonic sort of bikini. You know, Napoleonic showgirl type. Where she's she's wearing setup. just a sort of bikini top, but her has her hand in the in it. You know what I mean? Like this. You know, right. like she has her hand in it in a sort of Napoleonic way. By the way, right, I just like, thought that thing you know, looked kind of phallic to the left there. That blue thing. You know. No, I know that's what I was saying. The blue oh, thing. Did. But to me, it looks like either a rolling pin or a woman's ch clothing form. Okay. You know what well, I mean? Like a form. Well, I don't know about the form, but yeah. Okay. You know, like a side view of a form anyway. Something you know. like that. All right, carry Something on. Like <laughs> Grand is president they sell in honor of my birthday. Hey, George, oh my mine God. too. No. Right now, buy a master bedroom and get a living dining and second bedroom all absolutely free. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm and really... <laughs> hold on, pause it. This... Wait, I what is... I can't tell if it's a her, relative who has a similar it? accent and similar... Slightly lower and more robust. I can't robust, tell what's going maybe. on here, you know? Remember? Right. Can you take it back to the top? 
I think that's her cousin. Supernova's having the grandest present day sale in honor of my birthday. Hey, George, mine too. Right now, buy a master bedroom and get a living dining and second bedroom all absolutely free. Wait, and pause it. Wait, it's funny because almost... President's Day is not a celebration of President's birthday. <laughs> no, I think it... You said it's a celebration of my birthday. Well, I, I think, don't it... think it's about birthday. I think it is their birthday. And by the way, I think what's oh, is funny is she's trying to deepen her voice to sound like, you know, these characters. <laughs> no, I but wonder there's... that, though. I wonder if the one on the left, it All does right, actually you... have a more robust timbre to her voice. No, I think it's the same. I or think they're both her. Effect? I think they're both her and they're both trying to do this, you know. But, you know, what's funny is uh, there's no recordings of George Washington or Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wait. Oh, so it is George Washington's birthday. Wait, is it actually Abraham Lincoln's birthday, too? No, but his birthday is similar. I think it's close. Huh. I think it's it's wow. in February also, maybe, I think. And so then they made it President's Day because both of their right, birthdays okay. were in there. I don't know. Wow. I could be making that up. Just show what I know. I could All be right. making that up. I mean, what, why should you mm -hmm. know them when their birthdays are, you know? Well, I mean, because it's President's Day. <laughs> I think in order to be president, a prerequisite is you had to be born on President's Day. In February. Day. Yeah, February On 19th. President's Day. Something like that. All right, carry on. Uh, question. No, this is the thing. We don't... She's trying to make her voice sound deeper to sound like Abraham Lincoln and George Washington, but... If you, but who's who know who knows how they really sounded? I mean, eh, I guess well, people would have, I, sure I guess people would have written tale. about it. I guess people would have said Abraham Lincoln had an unusually high pitched voice. But imagine if his voice though was high, and they just thought, you know, I don't know. Well, we if his of, voice was actually what we're hearing right now from this person talking on screen, that would be interesting. Yeah, if he was four score and seven years ago, <laughs> four score. Four score. No, she, 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 she she's a, has a high pitch. She's okay. She's high pitch. Trying to sound dark, like a lower sounding voice. Four. Now four, you sound like. Now I sound like an old man. I guess. No, now you sounded like. Uh, who did you sound like? Um, four, four score. And Bill Clinton. <laughs> four score. I told Hillary. Uh, Hillary. Hillary, get my. Please go look under my desk. I'm Hillary, not wearing get, any pants. Get my maxi pad. Where's my, my Hillary? Can you find me my maxi pad? Hillary, right. Can you find my tampons? I'm gonna need some coverage in the back. <laughs> Hillary, can you find my tampons? I'm gonna need some coverage in the back. Hillary, I need some tampax. I just saw a great commercial for them, and I wanted to be part of the fun. <laughs> All right, carry Hillary, on. Oh, you go over, and I need some tampax right away. Hillary, get the hell. Hey, Hillary, out. Hillary, I need some tampax. Uh, Monica's coming over in a little bit. I'm gonna need some tampax for protection. Hillary George is coming over. I need tampax now. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I look in the mirror and I think to myself, "What a wonderful life! <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful world!" Oh, I mean world. Well, sure. What a wonderful life, too. Sure. What a wonderful life. You know, I told Big Hill. I told Capitol Hill. I said, "Can I, hey, next time you go to Ralph's, can you pick me up some tampax?" Thank you. She was like, okay, Bill, just be quiet. <laughs> She's okay, Bill. Okay, Will. Anything for Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill. Bill sounds so casual, and yet he was. She the goes president. to the. I actually don't think it sounds casual. Bill? Now, Willie does. Yeah, sure. Sure. All right, carry on. All right, here, I'll do it, actually. Supernova's having the grandest President Day sale in honor of my birthday. Hey, George, mine too. Right now, buy a master bedroom and get a living dining and second bedroom all absolutely free. And get a TV and a tablet too. Harry, our birthday celebration is going on right now. Okay, now that is the Patty Duke effect. Yeah, they timed that out, I think, right? It worked. I'm just trying to really understand, though. Real? Are they the same person or not? I cannot tell. Well, does it look like there's a green screen effect happening here? It doesn't. It looks real. Wait, I can't. Re no, there is a green screen effect, I think. You really think so? That, this is so funny that you found this commercial. I mean, this is perfect. Yeah. I can't believe this. One more time. Let's watch it. Supernova's having the grandest President Day sale in honor of my birthday. Hey, George, mine too. Right now, buy a master bedroom and get a living dining and second bedroom all absolutely free. And get a TV and a tablet too. Harry, our birthday celebration is going on right now. Okay, they I'm pretty sure it's the same oh, person. I'm pretty sure good. it's the same person because I the know. way the way that she's sort of 
weights and stuff and speeds up, it almost seems like she's trying to time it perfectly so that they sync up or something like that, right? Something like that. But, you know, it's crazy because they must have some bank to, first of all, be giving away all this free crap, as we've talked about before. It's crazy how they're giving away all these things. But they're also paying for these commercials, which are probably expensive. I mean, I don't got no commercial up in here. You know what I mean? I'd love one. I don't have one. Well, here's That's the expensive. thing. Yeah, I, I agree. But just I one rich? thing I just want to watch this one last time, and I want you to pay attention, Laura, to this in particular, is just look at the way George Washington sort of reacts to Abraham Lincoln. Just watch the reactions on Abraham on mm -hmm. George Washington's part, okay? Yeah. Supernova is having the grandest President Day sale in honor of my birthday. Hey, George, mine too. Oh, yeah, it know, seems fake. Master bedroom and get a living dining no, but, not really no, really no, but just look at the way that she's reacting. It's just really funny. It's kind of right. kind of regal in a way. Or it's kind of, you know what I mean? There's it's something to be regal, kind of... but also it's not, they're not engaged, so it's definitely fake. Okay, it's the same person. <laughs> so you can tell birthday. because they never hey, George, make eye contact. Mine too. You know, when this president they sell in honor of my birthday. Hey, George, mine too. Right now, buy a master bedroom and get a living dining and second bedroom all absolutely Look at free. Yeah, the way George oh, well, it just showed their names. Sorry, go back, go back again. I'm sorry, I missed right that now. actually. It just what? showed their name, it showed their real names. I just realized that. After George that, Washington, it, <laughs> no, 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 after that, it showed the real names right there. Anna Banana, Anna Banana. Wow, that's wait, how is her she name goes by Anna, Anna Banana? Her name is Anna Banana. How do you know it's Anna and not Anna? Because it is Anna. It's Anna Banana. No, it's Anna from Supernova. Supernova, Anna. It is Anna. She says I mean, Anna? Chicken Jessica, it's Anna, is it not? Uh, yeah, we've confirmed that. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't... Do you know what's weird? Not is me. Why did they... Why did they need to show her name? That She wanted credit. I guess she wanted credit for this. She's just saying, just right. so you know, I'm actually pulling this off. You know, I'm actually well, pulling off playing... Thinking they were probably like, okay, for the viewers who are going to be wondering if we're the same person, we should just tell them because it's so believable. Well, I think <laughs> she's kind of, kind of trying to say, yes, we did use the Patty Duke effect here. Actually. And she's also saying, yes, I am that good of an actress. Right, right. <laughs> and yes, I'm available for hire for other such right. things. As I know. I would... More Supernova commercials. I would totally actually probably hire, you know, Anna as... Abraham Lincoln or George Washington, better yet, for a you know a private party, you know, just to sort of go around and sort of be sort of mingling with people and stuff, you know. Would you hire Anna for some one of your projects, just to, as a guest, uh, guest star? Uh, I would, yes, I would. I will wish I try to get her, her get on the show. I try to get her on this show. Oh, you tried to get her on this show? Yes. Oh, I okay. talk, you know, I talked to her on the I talked to her on the phone, and then she oh, said right. she seemed interested, and then she said she wanted to talk it over with her husband, and then. She want to talk I don't over know. His, then the husband said no, basically. Really? Wow. Wow. Right. Well, yeah, I get it. She doesn't want to succumb to such I don't know. lower they, level ranking things. I don't know. <laughs> lower echelon. She All doesn't right, want to succumb to the pepperage farm of of uh what's I didn't had no tasks. I had no idea her name was Anna Banana. No, I didn't nor did no I did I. <laughs> I had no idea. But there you go. So that was a recent commercial? Well, probably something somewhat recent. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Well, well anyway. <sighs> um, well, that was a nice uh kind of pleasant surprise uh, visit from uh Anna. Yeah. Sorry, I had to glitch your thing. I had no to problem. credit my uh wife for reminding me that she existed because i just last minute she's like, she's like oh this that masturbator woman have a commercial I'm like oh i bet i bet that's a good call was a, was a she, call. do they do commercials call. for every holiday i wonder of course mm -hmm. yeah, yeah they've, well, they've, they, they, they've got stuff they got to get rid of they got to use every opportunity possible you know dude do, do, they must be banking they, they've got every appliance that they need to get rid of here it's well, crazy i mean particularly tablets and tvs but yeah you know what dang you know, what our brother, one of our, my brothers needs a TV, you know, get him to Supernova, would you, huh? Yeah, Houston. He needs a free TV. Right. A free bedroom, too. Yeah. Potentially. <laughs> um, so this next one features a, uh, 
uh, former president. Some will say still our president. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, a Pizza Hut commercial. Yeah. From, I don't know, early 90s. Okay, let's take a peek. Oh, Marker 113 says it's a money laundering uh, I think this project is. operation. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh gosh. Hold on a second. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Just pause it for a second. Laura, yeah, no, I'm do, do your what? thing here. What? What do you mean? Oh. I'm blowing you up. Oh, boy. No, get back here, CJ, you little beak. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why not? Hang out. What do you, what do you think up? just happened to Brent? Is it diarrhea or is it a bug? Uh, it's probably a bug, a I would imagine. I bet you it's a bug. I bet you it's a moth. It's something flying around. I just want to get, <laughs> no I want to get do, deal with this right now. <laughs> I forgot that he could still hear us. Right. Well, hey, he can hear. You think he got diarrhea on the computer this time? Again? I think he, he, I think the moth got diarrhea. <laughs> and then I gave him right. diarrhea. No, I don't know. Yeah, so the moth diarrhea is on the thing. Yeah, that makes sense. It's going to be uh-huh. So, anyways, is it raining how's your President's Day been? <laughs> Shoot, it's busy, busy. Yeah, busy, busy. Whatever. Yeah. What, All right. Oops. Um, what up? Oops. Good. I don't want to talk about myself. All right. Here Whatever. We All right. Uh, what? No, here nothing. We go. What happened? Nah, nothing. Something was flying around, and I, I really just think don't like stuff right flying piece. around. Yeah. Okay. Let's just watch no, this. Yeah, thing here. Sorry. Okay. Here we. Go. Do you really think this is the right thing for us to be doing, Ivana? Wow. What will people think? Let them talk. Donna. Ivana, Ivana, Ivana. It's wrong, isn't it? But it feels so right. Then it's oh. a deal? Yes, we eat our pizza the wrong way. <laughs> crust first. Introducing stuff. Wait, crust what? Pizza. Hold on, what? Crust oh, I remember first? when Crust First was You don't remember like... Stuffed Crust Pizza? I uh, no, I know Stuffed Crust okay. Pizza, but I know oh, Stuffed okay. Crust Pizza, but it's weird that you would eat that first. You know what I, I mean? remember that was this. Whole campaign. This was huge. This was like huge. a bunch of commercials, not just him. Look at that. It was huge butthole. during the fox o era, I think. I know, look at that butthole right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my such God. A... We should use that as a campaign for him. <laughs> I mean, that is such a crazy... You know, sort of rectal ish, rectal. you know, rectal esque mouth, you know. Rectal just, pretzel. That is fully rectal right there. I mean, that is just full rectal. Up with it. Where did Presid- they shoot this? In one Presid- of his rectal. Huh? I wonder if this was one of his actual, you know, properties or something. Mm-hmm. It's probably at like whatever that's called. I think know. this is the right thing for us to be doing. Mar a Laga. What do people think? Let them talk. Donna, Donna. Ivana, 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 Ivana. It's wrong, isn't it? But it feels so right. Then it's a deal? Yes, we eat our pizza the wrong way. Crust first. Introducing okay. stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut. With a ring of cheese baked into a totally new, thinner crust, you'll want to eat it the wrong way. Crust first. May I have the last slice? Actually, you're only oh. entitled to half. Large is $9.99. <laughs> entitled. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I thought that was actually kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, it is funny. funny. But it's yeah. funny because then they get divorced. Yeah, so. It's uh, also crazy to think that she would later uh, you know, come out with allegations that he raped her. I'm just saying it's a bit dark, isn't it? Wrong way. Chris, um, I have done this actually, commercial. you're only entitled to half. Large is $9.99. You know, it, I, this, I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with the Trumps or anything like that. But I, this whole stuff crust pizza, I just don't. It's just, it's interesting to me. I mean, it's gross. You know, why do you want to fill yourself up on that first? Uh, don't you want to fill yourself up first on the slice first and then do that as a filler if you need to it's later? A bad you know idea. I mean? It's a bad I'm idea. I'm just, no, I'm just saying you, you want to eat the pepperoni and the tomato sauce right. first, you know, along with the cheese and the bread. Why, you know, why fill up on, to me, the, just the crust, like the, the crust is sort of to bread. top you. The, t- the the thing at the end is supposed to top you off. You know what I mean? It's not something like that. Look at how that looks like two balls coming out. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah, something does. suggestive. I know. It's kind what of what are they saying with that? I know. It's weird. They it's know saying, what they were doing. I, I mean, they of, had to have analyzed this shot. I think quite they're probably clearly. saying this pizza's got balls. <laughs> got balls or got ass? Because it kind of looks like a butt too. <laughs> Look at oh my god, there was another ball sack right there. Wait, go back to a couple frames. There's a lot of <laughs> look at of... that. Go back. Wait. No, one floor forward. Look at that. Balls on the left, bottom left. Look at that. Oh, right. oh my god. Or that that's totally a but- mirrors or a the balls that are coming. Buttock. Out of or it could be a buttock or it could Same be breast. Could be breast too. Two sort of cleavaged round <laughs> mounds are the theme here. Well, also weird. They must um, have known that that was included here. 
like they had to have analyzed these shots for some time and must have thought By to the themselves, way, well, this looks like something. Something and we're gonna go with it. And that right there looks suggestive in itself. You know what I mean? I mean, doesn't it? Right, it's something to that. No, effect. it looks like he's munching down on someone's butt or something. You but know also, what I look mean? at how his middle finger is sort of more sort of um more prominently sort of erectly holding the pizza as a supporter. Well, they make element. you they make you to they hold make you things that. weird like that. Right. I, you know, they, you they have to do. hold they want you to show the whole slice, you know, so they make you... No, I hear that, but it's also funny that it's like the middle finger is really prominent here. <laughs> I mean, it's it almost like a butthole. Look, it's a butt... Look at this. It's a butthole that goes... Munches on some sort of butt, you know what I mean? It's a, I mean, the so mouth, funny. you know what I mean? I mean, just look at those well, the lips. Well, could also be a bit of a metaphor for or some sort of... Look at that. Yeah, it could have been... It could be symbolic of a vagina, maybe. Because it's like V-shaped. I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there, but I mean, it's there, you know. <laughs> As well. I didn't want to go there necessarily, but it, it it's true. It, you're right, Laura. You're right. Okay. I mean, I have to admit, you know. Well, I mean, it's like also interesting how he's pinching the front of it in such a way. <laughs> what does that entail? It's some sort of foreplay. Well, I think pinching is sort of a weird thing to consider. It's general. kind of also interesting to just see pinching. the way that not just Trump, but people put their mouths on things. Well, eating is a bit sort of, you know, obtuse in and of itself. But, you know, you got to do it in these kind of food commercials. They have to, they got to sell product. <laughs> they got to push prod. I'll be Look honest, though. Balls right there. I mean, it's so blatant. Does, does this make that me want to eat totally this? Balls. Because I am kind of hungry right now. No, it does. That doesn't I just, make me want to eat that. I that ate, doesn't look good. I ate not that long ago, and I, and yet I kind of. I don't know. I'm looking at this pizza and I want to eat it. Not the crust. I just want to eat the regular part. Anyway, whatever. All right, carry on. The crust is really a turn off to me. How does but this I end? He said, "Not a, that you're only entitled." Oh, to and that's how it ends, right? Okay. Actually, you're only entitled to half. Large is nine. Was that a premonition that they were going to get a divorce or something? <laughs> All right, I don't know. I'm not trying to say I want Pizza Hut. I mean, I love pizza. It's my favorite food, but. I don't know. I wonder if they had it's some loving suggested. moments. Of... Maybe, I don't know. What, what do you mean, as a I'll sort of master? Your hand, you know? oh, oh, wait, yeah. wait. Go back to the last spot. The la... Right, it's like oh, he's yeah. reaching in. The right, angle it is suggested. Like he, he's only he... entitled to half of his penis, or half of his balls. <laughs> grab maybe. that little mushroom. All right, uh, well, it's also implicative of, like, if they get divorced, she only gets half. She gets half of everything. Yeah, I was wondering if they gave yeah, right. I was wondering if they gave him like tiny slices, reference. like you know, they give him like, little slices to make his hands look normal. It's a oh, right, right, right. Does he have small hands? I mean, that's what they. Oh, say. is that a no, no, Is he famous for his small hands? Kind of. I yeah. mean, that's an interesting shot with his hand right. on his arm on the arm. Her arm. Her, her, her oh, arm. Yeah. I mean, it just look at the way that's kind of a Bobert move, you know. But look at the way one finger is sort of stretched over. The side, you know what I mean? He's kind right, of pinching it. It almost well, looks got like both a both hands on her. Arm. Well, you know what's weird is it looks like a lobster hand or something like that. You know <laughs> it what I mean? Like it's, a bit of a claw. It's, it's like it because you're not seeing the thumb. You're just. I mean, it looks like one of his fingers is a thumb. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway. Um. Do you want more, or should we go to the after? I kind of feel like just for variety's sake, should we just do one more? Okay. The, well, the, um, should let's we do? Switch Let's switch parties here and let's do. Um, we got a commercial with Bill and Hillary Clinton. Really? Yeah, believe it, it or not, it, it's it's not a political commercial. It's not a political commercial. Great. It's, it's I think it's furniture related. Uh, f fabulous. Not okay. political furniture. Okay, but. great. All right. Wow. Papers, papers, newspaper, please. <laughs> I'll tell you. Huh? These guys promised the lowest prices in Canada or the U.S. or it's free. Free? Wow. We have free health care. Still think that's the guy on the left is pretty good, man. I got to admit, you know. <laughs> I oh, my God. Yeah, wait. Like I thought it was him. Kind of looks like Jim Brewer a little. <laughs> wait, let's see. Newspaper, please. I, tell I you mean, I totally know. thought it was him at first. I didn't hear you I thought we were going to watch. Yeah. I thought we were actually watching a commercial that he did. <laughs> I know. I, I believed it because he Me looked too. like him. Oh, well, like right there, totally. And then I just okay. thought, wow, Hillary Clinton looked so young back then. But I guess she didn't look like that young. Anyway. These guys promised the lowest prices in Canada or the U.S. or it's free. Free? They even have free health care. Still think that's a good idea? Look, here's their ad. Bad boy furniture and appliances. 
see here? Lowest prices in Canada or the U.S. or it's free. I love it. It's got character. Look at these prices. And Bad Boy offers no interest, no this payment music. for one full year. Drivers, who's better than Bad Boy for furniture and appliances? No Nobody! Hey, bro. Huh. Huh. Let, wait, let's see what's going on. Look at that guy's pinky ring. Wow. <laughs> That's very obtuse. I mean, that is... What does that mean? <laughs> you know what's interesting? It's he's a thief. So he's, he's like some a sort jail, of he's a jail. Yeah, he's jail, a, he's jail jailbait. Bird? He's some sort of jailbait or something like jail that. Bird, yeah. He's some sort of jailbird or something like that. FBI lands on eagle. It, FBI goes spread eagle. <laughs> hmm. FBI lands on eagle. What about that Reagan one? Uh, which one? The train. That no, that Baraxo, whatever it's called. Okay, I got the color one. I mean, I got both of them. Oh, well, let's try it. The color one was a little more interesting. Yeah, let's try. I know that. that one wasn't too exciting. Those are good, um, but you know, it's I, I put it in there for the variety. Yeah, um, let's see what it's like. You know, here's Ronald Reagan for Baraxo. <laughs> oh right, this will be interesting. Here's great news about two wonderful Baraxo. Wait, can you take it? Take it back. Wow. It sounds so harsh, Baraxo. It makes me think it's going to cause a is rash. Is it made from what, yeah, boric what? acid? Or is, this I know, bor is it borax? borax? That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, borax. It sounds like borax. I, 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 I haven't really watched this, but it seems to have way too many uses to be healthy for you. Oh, really? I'm thinking You're that it, to me it sounds like it's some kind of pipe cleaner or something, like something that you use to clean your, like, your, your drain or something like that. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> No, he is, yeah, Here's very great hard, news right. about two wonderful Baraxo hand cleaning products. First, oh, hand Baraxo cleaning, wow. powdered hand soap in a new plastic decorator container. Looks like this on the grocer's shelf, and like this <laughs> on your bathroom or kitchen sink. Oh, that's sleek. Perfect for so everyday much better. hand. <laughs> that's that sleek. Is still not that's a good perfect. shade. It's kind of an, it's funny. It's just saying. <laughs> You know, you can now it's going to look good. No, no label. You know, you can just take the label no off. No label, and it looks, but still this like intense, this, like a big, big sort of egg, of, offensive <laughs> yeah, egg, an egg of sorts. It's like a know. red tipped egg. It's like oh, yeah, it's, it's a like red. an ostrich, a dinosaur egg. It's a sorts. red tipped egg. It's so large. This it's not a good shape. On your bathroom or kitchen sink. That's Perfect not... for everyday hand washing. Baraxo washes hands cleaner and faster than bar soaps can. And here's is exciting new Baraxo oh waterless hand cleaner. Watch. Just a little dab. Removes paint, <laughs> soil stains, grease, <laughs> shoe polish, or wax. In fact, new Baraxo waterless hand cleaner removes the toughest dirt or stains. Wait, this Get is crazy. It removes paint anytime. and you're supposed to put it, it on your hands too? On the road I thought anywhere. that was, like, I thought I misheard it at first. I was like, oh, this is actually for like hardware and stuff. But no, he's talking about. It's for you everything. You can polish your shoes with it, but it, you can also like, it's like polish it's, the skin off of your hands. It's tough it. enough. It's yeah, tough yeah, enough yeah, for yeah. your shoes and gentle enough for your hands. That is insane. <laughs> It does feel like it's a very a actually. That's what the hands look like after they were washed with it. You know? Right, exactly. <laughs> Grease, shoe polish, or wax. In fact, new. Bar it's First like, of all, I loved how they were doing. purposefully painting their hand with the shoe polish. Did you see that? Oh wait! Oh, did they? <laughs> I didn't see that. Looking. Grease, shoe polish, or wax. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> wait, pause this. Look at how weird this. I, know, I mean, why, why is that red? one hand is like stretching its sort of pinky out? You know what I mean? Like the pinky's being stretched out a bit. You know what I mean? It's kind of doing well, the thing that sort of well, Trump weird. was doing that earlier on that his wife's arm. You know, that's just how it works. Look at they like painted brown on the wrist and then red in the middle. What is this? Some sort of like there's some Satan. They're saying it's satanic symbol. There actually is images in there. There are images. <laughs> I guess, yeah i mean that is actually abstract art right there and i'm well, actually abstract, really impressed but with i it. think it there is some there's blood that has been spilt here I this person has blood on their hands they also have mean? art on their hands i mean this is worth a lot of money well, in my mind you know? it's this a is really, this is there's do you see art i see thing i see things well i, I see, see a sort of almost know. anteater type creature or something or buffalo i see some sort of, of sorts i see a buffalo of sorts well, you know? I mean, we could explore in the after show. 
That's true. I, yeah. I think a lot of these new members haven't seen drawing time yet. You know, like <laughs> That's true. This Rorschach situation, whatever it is. Okay, well, we'll but I, I'm gonna. Ch- I'll, all right, we'll, we'll take a screenshot of that. We'll we'll get into that in the after show debrief. But let's carry on. <laughs> I see a manta ray. Hand cleaner removes the toughest dirt or stains. Yes, hands clean Locked and smooth spots. fast anytime. In the wait, pause. Go back to that clean hand thing. Shoe polish or wax. <laughs> It would be so funny if it showed. Waterless hand cleaner removes the toughest dirt or stains. Gets hands clean. Okay, pause it. It'd be funny if it revealed them to be just you know skeleton hands. You know, (laughs) it just burned off everything. Um, But it's funny how the hand there's that pinky is so far away from the rest of the the fingers. You know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It almost kind of looks fake or something you know what i mean uh, anyway well yeah. that just looks like it's got issues you know it's fine anytime <laughs> this is a good point right here which one hmm. the pinky on the left looks too small for the hand oh it is shorter than oh, the other one oh my god oh that's the issue well, that happens. You oh, know. oh, okay. So it, it is some sort of it one. is sort of an abnormality. It is. Sort well, of, it said it has it has issues. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, no offense. There you go. I mean, no offense. Uh, no offense. But they obviously chose this hand model for this purpose. Like they thought it Smooth looked good. Back. Back. Right. Right. Well, Anytime. maybe they were just Unless trying to be uh, you know actually inclusive. Reagan's hands. No, they were trying not. to be inclusive. I think. You know? They don't do. They In didn't the do that job, back then. Camping on the road anywhere without water. What a convenience. That's new Baraxo waterless hand cleaner. And remember Baraxo powdered hand soap in the attractive new plastic container. Pause it. Do you think after this commercial, Ronald Reagan like threw the product away and he was like, now get this shit away from me. I'm getting a rash and hives on my balls. (laughs) This is some fucking bullshit. (laughs) He's like, let's go get dinner at Musso and Frank's. (laughs) Well, you know, it's funny. I mean, I've said this before, but you know, he plays a villain in this movie called The Killers from 1964, which was a, I think there was a remake of a 1946 movie. And um, <clears throat> also this, the movie kind of, I think, partially inspired Pulp Fiction, but, um, but he plays the villain in it. And, um, you know, he plays this kind of abusive kind of guy and stuff. And so it, it's just kind of funny to see him in that context. It's, right. Know. I mean, anyway. why is he so red? He's angry. And so angry. Well, that's probably just the getting high plastic container. Both at your grocers now. That's just pro- he probably washed his face with Baraxo. <laughs> I mean, my God. He kind of he almost looks like a red tipped egg himself. You know. That stuff seems. If his so body was the egg, his head nice. is the tip. You know. All right. It's just a no frills kind, kind of thing. Kind of looks like Jimmy Stewart in this frame. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't know about that, but Remember, his hair is almost like a chope. Hand soap in the attractive yeah. new plastic container. Both at your grocers now. It looks like a bottle of Johnson's baby shampoo and then a <laughs> bottle of shaving cream on the right. Look at Mulatso's thing. Braxo will fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, look, how about this? You want to kind of hang out with this longer? You know, it's a hangout. Uh, well, you can become a member. A lot of you became members recently. Um, but, you know, if you are not a member, you want to keep hanging out. Uh, there's a button there that says join. It's under the video there to the right, I think. And, um, well, you can... Uh, Join that and uh, carry on with us. We, we, you know, we'll hang out for another half hour to an hour. And uh, the link to the after show debrief is in the description of this video. And you can see all the previous after show debriefs if you become a member in the playlist, the chicken coop on this channel. Thank you to Chicken Jessica for uh, his help behind the scenes. And also uh, thank you to Jason Odd for making the highlight clips for the Chicken Coop. You can see those highlight clips on um, Chicken Coop Show on Instagram or its own YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Chicken Coop Show or TikTok. Um, thank you to Gemma and uh, Gemma Leslie and Cammy for helping out with the main- maintenance of those accounts. 
And um, Jason Odd has a band called Weird Artifacts, and you can check out uh, his music there. Uh, the, the, check out the YouTube channel for Weird Artifacts or Bandcamp or wherever. Um, and so, and that's about it. We also have a Discord if you want to join that. That's there's a link to that in the description. And uh, you know, um, well, yeah, we'll see you over there in the after show debrief. We're going to do some drawing time stuff. <laughs> And we are going to maybe look at some other commercials, you know, maybe there's a, I mean, you know, maybe some other, maybe some more Trump commercials. You know, I, I know he uh, was endorsing a Toshiba at one point. We might want to take a look at that. Mm. And um, that's about it. Hey, don't forget next, well, next week we, we are only going to be doing, um, the after show debrief. So you'd have to be a member to join us next week and it'll be at 7 PM Pacific time. And, um, and that's the after show debrief for the hundredth episode, but the hundredth episode is going to be actually the week after that. Okay. In person, but also we'll be streaming it live too at 8 PM Pacific Pacific time, but it also be, you know, find it, the crow, the crow in Santa Monica, get your tickets now. Hmm. Okay, um, so yeah, that's it. We'll we'll see you next week, or we'll see you in a little bit. And uh, my name is Brent Weinbach. My name is Laura Weinbach. And this is the Chicken Coop. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.